Hi everybody, it's Joey Remini here from Seeking Balance International and I really want to welcome you and thank you for finding my workplace however you've come across me. So welcome to Seeking Balance. I'm a vestibular audiologist and neuroplasticity therapist and I support and help people who are finding persistent vertigo and persistent tinnitus quite challenging. I help people reach not only a place of a better understanding their body and symptoms, but I really help them come to a place of deep, true and long lasting healing where many people do not notice their symptoms at all anymore. They've completely filtered them out, changing the, re the wiring of their brain. Or if symptoms come and go intermittently, which is also normal, they're able to take the no big deal approach and move forward without symptoms regenerating another error loop or chronic symptom cycle. So I want to welcome you and encourage you, if you are listening to this on audio, to close your eyes, find a nice quiet place to rest and listen in. So I want to remind you that dizziness is not your fault. Tinnitus is not your fault. These things happen. And despite medical advancements, sometimes we do not know the direct cause of people's vertigo and tinnitus. And to be honest, usually it's, an, it's a complex interaction of things. As you will know, dizziness and tinnitus can exacerbate our stress and this can leave us feeling overwhelmed and anxious. And then of course, the stress and anxiety can further exacerbate our symptoms, creating a bit of a vicious cycle. So my intention is that these resources on seekingbalance.com.au point you in a direction where you can support yourself and better understand what you're going through and most importantly, how to actually achieve healing. So I've seen people of all ages, definitely over the age of 70, even 80, and younger kids too, all ages, men and women from all corners of the world who have gained benefit from using online resources. And when I say that, I mean clicking play to videos, listening to audios like you're doing now, and also using worksheets for insight and written reflection work. So my clients access support any time of day from anywhere in the world. Most importantly, my clients learn how to create a daily recovery plan. And I just want to emphasize that they create their own plan. I don't tell them what to do, when to do, or how to do. I actually teach people how to create their neuroplasticity solutions based on what they want to feel in the given moment. So when it comes to neuroplasticity, you will benefit from having not only online resources at your fingertips, but also a team of people to cheer you on. I have got a YouTube channel and a podcast and many, a great supportive community in the closed Facebook group called Rocksteady for Vertigo and Tinnitus. And these are all other ways to have motivation and support. So Rocksteady is a self-study program. It's the only in-home therapy program available for vertigo and tinnitus sufferers to learn skills and tools that actually teach them how to heal. So if that's something that you're wanting to learn, Rocksteady is a comprehensive at-home program that you can do whenever you're ready. There's no rush and you don't need to do a program. It's totally up to you. Nothing replaces the self-study process and nobody else can change your neurons for you. And that's where we get this dilemma of the medical expert because we want the doctors to fix us and the doctors want to help us, but they can't change our neurons. Only you can do neuroplasticity and it actually does happen at home in your daily life with a daily practice. Now this can include sitting, standing, lying, walking, written or even meditation style practices. And I generally recommend that you begin to committing 15 minutes a day to changing your brain and your body neural pathways. I encourage you to go to my website, seekingbalance.com.au, check out the many client case studies I have and there's also research that we're collecting and some statistics and graphs you can look into if you're interested in outcome measures for neuroplasticity with a self-study program. So my message to you is this, do what you can to believe in your recovery. Use these self-study resources to create new neural pathways in your body. Of course, it requires practice, openness and focus, and it's so easy to fall off track and get distracted. I totally get it. I've actually had vertigo and tinnitus and it took me ages to heal and recover simply because I didn't have the supports. So it does require specific home exercises that you're going to have to design by yourself for yourself using these tools and resources. You pick and choose. You're going to need clarity and step-by-step -step guidance. 
recovery is not random. It's not going to fall out of a tree. You're unlikely to wake up one day and just feel miraculously healed. So the Rocksteady process offers you this methodical process, step-by-step -step guide and the resources that you're going to need as you deepen your healing at home and on your own. This is so that you can change your brain, change the way your neural networks are wired, change the filters in your brain, and then return to normal life. So you don't need to do this alone. Please reach out if you need support. I also offer private therapy if you would like to work with me. I'm definitely here for those of you who are seeking a higher level of neuroplasticity support. While it's not for everyone, it is for some of you. So reach out. Neuroplasticity is an art that very few people have training in. So it can be very difficult to find a therapist who lives near you in your local area. But my hope is that over time that will change and more people are trained in these skills. So a few things that I don't encourage you to do. The big one is don't compare yourself to other people or be distracted away from your own inner healing process. You are embarking on a very personal journey and this is one that most certainly you can share with people you trust, but probably not with everybody. Neuroplasticity is private healing work that you're going to be doing physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I encourage you to create a support team, invite in people who don't judge you, who don't rush you, and who don't tell you what to do. You're going to need to be in control of your own healing, and you're going to need to feel supported rather than disempowered. The number one thing I see in clinic that's holding people back from recovery and keeping them stuck is that they do not believe that healing is possible or they expect other people to fix them and they don't believe they can do it themselves. So these people are Googling a lot, you know, they're, re they're researching why, 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 but they're not committing to a focused plan. So they feel stuck, they over-medicate, they try random things to treat their symptoms or their pains. They're waiting for someone else to give them some miracle answer. They're waiting for an expert cure. They are focused on their symptoms rather than looking at finding their solutions and focusing on their desired feelings. So these guys are focused on eliminating symptoms rather than building the sensations that they desire. Remember, in neuroplasticity, you cannot delete neural patterns. You can only weaken them. The way to weaken symptom pathways is to actually shift your brain, your focus, your concentration, your attention and everything into your desired pathways that you want to feel. So you can build those neural traits, strengthen those neural networks and release those neural chemical transmitters to give you those feelings that you want. It's methodical. So you don't have to become this person who is stuck and who doesn't believe. I can reassure you that you can build your normal senses of perception. You can get your life back. You will never go back and be the person you were yesterday or last year. That's impossible. But you can certainly reset and retrain your brain to perceive a new sense of normal. So once you feel ready, I urge you to begin the 12-week Rocksteady program. This is so you can retrain your brain holistically. It's for everyone with vertigo or tinnitus. It doesn't matter what your diagnosis is. I do recommend that you get medical clearance first. This is for anyone who desires comprehensive support if you're if you practice focusing on what you want to feel you're going to build neural traits that allow you to feel that way more often so you can enjoy your body again so this is rewiring with neuroplasticity healing is a process it's not a miracle and you can certainly get started whenever you're ready during the rocksteady program you're going to learn about healing all aspects of yourself physically mentally emotionally and spiritually often we get very trapped in the physical you know postures exercises diets medications surgeries they're all physical we need to really look at mental emotional and spiritual aspects with an equal amount of attention so what i want you to do is to be able to arrive at this place where in the present moment right now you can say I know what I feel, I feel okay and everything's okay. So I have nothing to worry about right now, I'm completely normal. That's what we want you to feel in the present moment. Pushing through or distracting and ignoring your symptoms will not work, that can delay your recovery. The Rocksteady process will give you the skills, tools and strategies you need to create your own specific recovery plan using neuroplasticity. So people going through the Rocksteady program are feeling the benefits and do recommend it to others. At the moment, the average improvement after Module 6, I believe, is around 
and many clients report that they return to normal and no longer perceive symptoms at all. The reason for these results really is that the program is putting people back in control. It's giving them the tools that they need to be the person they want to be. So it's that physical, mental, emotional and spiritual intersect. You can always start by exploring the free starter kit, which I do recommend. There's so much information and many useful things to get you started in the free starter kit. There's the podcast and the YouTube channel. There's the Facebook group, Rocksteady for Vertigo and Tinnitus. And if you feel you want to ease into neuroplasticity, try the seven days of support. It's a wonderful introduction and absolutely supports Rocksteady. And if you want to work with me face to face, I do offer personal retreats for those of you who want to fly to Australia, meet me down in, on the surf coast and we can work face to face for a few days, which is a really nice immersion to get into neuroplasticity with that intensive support. So before I say goodbye, I just, I've been wanting to acknowledge that where Seeking Balance International is based is on the surf coast in Victoria, Australia. And the traditional custodians of our land, the First Nations people are called the Wadarung or the Wadarung people. And I really do feel as though I wanna pay my respects to the Wadarung people and the traditional custodians of the land. It feels really important to me that we honor and respect our ancestors and our traditions. So as you do embark on this process of looking at yourself differently and seeing yourself differently and forming a new relationship to yourself, begin to take note of where you've come from, of the generations and ancestors before you, and also of the generations and futures to come. So your great, great grandchildren it's really nice to put into perspective how our life does impact the lives of others and we are leaving a legacy. So I want to acknowledge and give my thanks to the Wadarung and the Wadarung tribes who have cared for the earth here where Seeking Balance headquarters is based. And of course, I want to pay my respects to my ancestors, my past, present and future relatives. And I encourage you to do the same. So I'm Joey Remini from Seeking Balance International welcome you are all welcome in this community it's non-judgmental and the number one thing i i want every single person to do that we all have in common is to live with the foundations of self-kindness to ourselves and to others so it's a little bye for now and i will see you along the way <music>